Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install the YITH Advanced Refund System for WooCommerce plugin. This is not a free plugin. This is a premium plugin and the pricing of this plugin is $89.99 per year for a single website. Using this plugin, you can create a fully functional refund system on your WooCommerce website. So I'll show you how you can install this plugin and how it works on your WooCommerce website, how customers will be able to ask for the refund, how the admin will be able to process the refund. Before that, let me show you the features of this plugin. You can allow the refund request for the whole order or single products. So if there are multiple products in a single order, then customer will be able to ask for a single product refund or the refund for the entire order. You can also set the number of days for the refund, accept the refund request automatically or you can do it manually, choose how to pay the refunds, pay the total amount requested by the customer or you can insert amount manually. You can also make a partial refund, select the product quantity to refund, offer coupons as an alternative to refunds. You can set an optional expiration date on the validity of the coupon also, restock the product automatically. Then check the order total, manage all requests from related section, reject the refund request with one click, let user explain the reason for their refund request. So the user will also mention why they want the refund of the order. Configure and hawk refunds for a single product, notify users when the product is not refundable. Exchange messages with the user so you can communicate with the user for the refund request. You will also get one year update and technical support and there is 30 days money back guarantee. So I'll show you how you can install this plugin and how the refund system works on the actual WooCommerce website using this plugin. Before we start with the installation of the plugin, let me inform you that today's video is brought to you by Breakdance. I have already published a video on how to install and use the Breakdance plugin. Breakdance is the modern visual website builder for WordPress. It is easy for beginners to learn and powerful enough for the most advanced professionals. Breakdance is loaded with features including a premium pre-made template library, a robust form builder, AI content writing capabilities, a versatile pop-up builder, and seamless WooCommerce integration. Whether you are just starting your WordPress journey or you are a seasoned pro looking for a better builder for your agency, now is the perfect time to build better websites with Breakdance. Try today and experience the Breakdance difference. I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to watch the detailed video on how to use the Breakdance plugin and what are the features in the Breakdance plugin. So let's go to the dashboard of the WooCommerce website. I have one demo WooCommerce website and I'm going to install the plugin on this website. I have already downloaded the plugin, so I'm going to install it. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. Click on upload plugin and browse the plugin. Click on install now. Click on activate plugin. All right, so the plugin is installed and it is activated. In the left-hand panel, you will see the option YITH and under that, you will see Advanced Refund System. Click on it. So these are the basic settings of YITH Advanced Refund System for WooCommerce plugin. General settings allow refund. To enable the refunds, you need to check this box. If you uncheck this box, the refund system will not work. Number of days for refunds, maximum time in days to allow refunds. Zero means that user can always ask for refunds. So there is no time limit if you set it to zero. Enable taxes, enable this if you want to refund taxes also. Allow to close new request. Enable this option if, if you want to be able to close the request without accepting or rejecting the request first. Below that we have refund section accept all refund requests automatically. So if you check this box, it is going to accept all the requests automatically. A restock refunded items on automatic refunds. If your refund is processed, then it is going to restock that refunded item. Minimum order amount. Here you can set the minimum order amount. Minimum amount of order required to accept the customer's request. Enable message to show on non-refundable product. You can display a message which shows user that the product is refundable. Message, sorry, this product is not refundable. File uploads. If you allow customer to upload an image of the product, why they want to, if there is any defect in the product, then they will be able to upload the images also. You Here you can allow only the images. Then this is the coupon code setting where if you want to offer coupon instead of the actual refund, then you can add a coupon code here. 
expiry date for the coupons let's say they can make a purchase within next 30 days using this coupon code so 30 days will be the expiry date for the coupon all right so i have not made any changes except this expiry date so i'm going to save the options all right now let's go to one of the products here go to edit and uh, let's go to refund system here you will see that this refund option is added under each product set the refundable status use the global value so whatever we have under global settings that will be applied here set the product as refundable or non-refundable now i'm going to set this product as non-refundable just this product only jacket skinny fit this product is non-refundable number of days as it is non-refundable then there is no point in changing the number of days non-refundable message use the global value or you can set your own message here okay let's save this option this product is not refundable let's view the product all right now here you will see the message sorry this product is not refundable now if i go to another product let's go to this product here so there is no message here for this product okay so this product is refundable all right now i'm going to log in as a customer and i'm going to make a purchase so that i'll show you how the customer will be able to ask for the refund i'm logged into the same website as a customer here in another browser and i'm going to add some products in the cart let's add this product in the cart and let's add this one also this is non-refundable so i'm going to add this product also and let's add one more product all right so we have three products in the cart let's go to checkout all right so these are the details of the customer the customer has already created an account on the website and on this demo website i have only one payment gateway that is cash on delivery to accept the online payments you can also enable the payment gateways such as paypal or stripe and using those payment gateways you can also process the refund request okay so here i'm going to place the order all right so the order is successful let's go to my accounts this is the customer's account let's go to order and this is the order let's click on view so in the order we have three different products here as of now these buttons are not clickable because the payment is not yet processed and the admin has not received any payment yet so they will not be able to process the refund so that's why these buttons are not activated yet once the payment is done and once the product is received then these buttons will be activated all right now let's go to admins account here let's go to orders you will see this order is here okay so in the order we have three products here let's consider that this order is fulfilled the shop owner has sent the product and the payment is also done the order is completed so I'm going to mark this order as completed and updated. All right, now let's go to the user's account and let's refresh it. The order is completed now and you will see that ask for a refund is activated. This one is not activated because this product is not refundable. If I go to this product, you will see this message here. This product is not refundable. All right, so we have two products here which we can ask for the refund and refund my entire order is also not available because one product is not refundable now i want to ask for the refund for this product okay so i'm going to click on it ask for a refund and number of items will be one only and uh, let's say i do not need this product anymore all right so this is the reason for the refund click on submit all right, now this button is again grayed out because the refund has been requested. Now it is going to send an email to the admin that someone has asked for the refund. Here you will see that the admin has received an email. New refund is requested. So I can go to the dashboard. In the left hand panel, you will see YITH refund request. Click on it and it will show all the refund request here. So this is the request. I can go to this request and you will see the details here details for the entire order and the refund is requested for this product you will see it here 
and the refund is of the value $10. Total order value is $62. Now here you can add an amount for the request. If you want, you can also refund the entire amount $10 or if you want, you can also refund $5 only. You will see it here. So I have entered $5 and it shows here. All right, now you will see $10 is there. The other options are refund the amount via cash on delivery, which is definitely not available. If you are using online payment gateway, for example, PayPal or Stripe, then you will see a button here, refund via PayPal or refund via Stripe. So you can click on that button and it will automatically refund that amount via the PayPal or the Stripe, whichever payment gateway that you are using on your WooCommerce website. Now here I have the option to refund the $10 manually as it is cash on delivery. So I can select this option or I can reject the request, set it to processing, set to on hold, offer a coupon of $10. So I can also offer a $10 coupon that will be sent to the customer and they will be able to use that coupon within next 30 days and make a purchase of the same amount. So in this case, I'm going to offer a coupon for $10. So click on it. Do you want to offer? Click OK. All right, so this request is now processed. Now here you can also see the message history, why the refund is requested. If you want to reply to the customer, you can reply from here. Let's say the refund is processed. Use it within next 30 days. Click Submit. You will see the message history here. Okay, now let's go back to the customer's account and let's refresh it. Now, if I go here, you will see the total order value was $62 and you have got a refund of $10. Now, let's go back to the home and I'm going to make another purchase here. Let's add some more products. Go to checkout and let's place the order. All right, let's go to my account good orders and this is the new order you will see that it is still processing let's go back to the admin account and let's go to orders again let's go to the order here and let's mark it as completed we have shipped the product we have received the cash on delivery also and the order is marked as completed now let's go back to the customers account refresh it it is completed click on view now I can ask for the refund. Now here you will see that refund my entire order. So we are going to ask for the refund of all the products. So click on refund my entire order. Submit it. All right, now let's go back to the admin account. Go to request. And this is the new request. Click on it. Okay, you will see two products are there in the card and the refund is requested for all the products here you can also refund the entire order manually or if you are using payment gateway it will show the option refund via that payment gateway or you can also offer a coupon for $48.98 and you will see that the amount is refunded here. So this is how you can use the YITH advanced refund system for WooCommerce plugin. Using this plugin, you can set up a refund system on your WooCommerce website. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.